With the help of partners and lots of input from members of the community, Great Rivers Greenway is working to turn the Hodemont tracks into a new greenway in the city of St. Louis. This future 3.5-mile greenway will connect three city wards and seven neighborhoods, providing new ways to get around town, exercise, gather, and play within historic portions of the city deserving of investment. This project is an exciting addition to the growing Great Rivers Greenway network of greenways in St. Louis City, St. Louis County, and St. Charles County. Greenways provide walkable and bikeable connections to neighborhoods, parks, job centers, transit stops, and many other things along the way. But they aren't just paths to get to a destination, they are destinations themselves, providing people of all ages and abilities with a great way to enjoy more of their lives outside, making the entire region a more vibrant place to live, work, and play. Efforts to bring this new greenway to life along the Hodemont tracks have been underway for several years. In 2014, Great Rivers Greenway studied this area and connections to Forest Park and Midtown to determine if a greenway in the Hodemont tracks was feasible. In 2018, Great Rivers Greenway asked neighbors of the Hodemont tracks whether they would like a greenway here and listen to what they had to say. Nearly 95% of community members responded that they would like a greenway along the Hodemont tracks. Knowing that the idea for this greenway could work and that the people wanted it, Great Rivers Greenway initiated a concept plan in 2020 as a next phase in this greenway's development. The concept plan builds upon Great Rivers Greenway's previous efforts by establishing a vision for how the proposed greenway may look and feel, setting the stage for future phases of detailed design, engineering, and construction. Community engagement has been and will continue to be a critical piece of planning for this new greenway, and community feedback has guided the entire process to date. Great Rivers Greenway's community-led design has centered around an Ask, Align, Act model, in which we ask the community which solutions are desirable and appropriate, align the project with the expectations and goals of the community, and act upon agreed-upon intentions to ensure positive and equitable outcomes for all. Using this model, engagement and design efforts go hand in hand, working in tandem to ensure that community-led direction is driving the planning process. To maximize our reach within the community and to have as many conversations about the project as possible, we coordinated several opportunities for people to learn about the new Greenway, ask questions, and provide their own input. Our outreach during the concept planning phase in 2020 and 2021 included the creation of a community advisory committee, the holding of pop-up office hours along the future Greenway, volunteer events to pick up litter along the Hodemont tracks, listening tours, participation in community meetings and events, stakeholder meetings, and community kickoff meetings. Here are some of the key messages that we heard from community members. Connections from the Greenway to the Central West End, Grand Center, Del Mar Loop, and Fountain Park are desired. Issues such as illegal dumping and crime along the tracks need to be addressed to make this greenway a place where people want to be. Access to homes needs to be maintained while adding space for recreation, conservation, and joy. Vacant spaces along the greenway are opportunities to create access points, playgrounds, native planting areas, ball courts and fields, and gardens. Long-term maintenance of the greenway needs to be planned while the greenway is being designed. Working with the Community Advisory Committee, a set of goals were established for this Greenway project. These goals are enhance the environment, celebrate community and culture, facilitate socioeconomic growth, promote safety, security, and access, advocate health and wellness. The area near the 3.5 mile Hodiamont tracks is home to many amazing places to visit now, including playgrounds, parks, community gardens, and schools. The Greenway will connect these and add new destinations and places for programs and events. Several city-owned vacant lots adjacent to the Greenway corridor present an opportunity to introduce such amenities as part of the project. For 150 years, the Hodemont Tracks was used as a transportation corridor. This path was once a route for horse-drawn trams, narrow-gauge rail cars, cable cars, street cars, and buses. This legacy as a transportation corridor presents both opportunities and challenges for the project. On one hand, this underutilized right-of-way is ready for new use. People walking, jogging, rolling, and strolling will bring a new energy and vitality to the area. But long stretches of the corridor also function as an alley, providing garage access, trash removal, and parking for residents. 
These are necessary functions, and the Greenway will accommodate these uses into the final design. Safety is another key concern, and with multiple traffic intersections, it will be essential to enhance safety for people walking and riding bikes at these crossings. Also, because of their disuse, some areas have become overgrown, limiting visibility and creating a screen for illegal activity. The Greenway design will prioritize increasing visibility, safety, and security for visitors and residents alike. With the opportunities and challenges of the corridor in mind, our design team took the input we received from the community and developed several possible design concepts for this new Greenway. The concepts consisted of three key components, corridors, crossings, and vacant land strategies. Community members were asked to measure each of the concepts based upon the pre-established goals for the Greenway. This valuable feedback served as a report card of sorts to provide designers a clear direction as to which concepts were worth further study and refinement. Corridors. Corridors are the trail portion of the Greenway. For this project, these areas primarily fall within the land owned by project partners, by state development agency, and the city of St. Louis. Because the tracks vary in width and level of usage, options were developed to address the various conditions along the way. Community feedback consistently favored concept alternatives that were rich in features and detail, expressing particular interest in enhancing safety, experiencing natural beauty, and expressing cultural heritage. Crossings This greenway will intersect with vehicular roadways at many points along the way, and planners have a variety of design options and devices available to improve the safety of these crossings. Roadway width, traffic patterns, and other factors will be considered at each crossing to determine which practices and available tools will be the best fit for each intersection. In addition to these tools, all crossings will be upgraded for accessibility and to accommodate Greenway users of all ages and abilities. Crossings will comply with America Disabilities Act guidelines. It will include flat sidewalks and landing areas with smooth transitions between the sidewalk and the crosswalk. We'll also be changing the surface of the street and greenway as you approach the intersections so everyone knows to pay attention and be careful in these locations. Vacant Land Strategies The design team used what they heard from the community members about desired features and amenities to address neighborhood concerns and create places for recreation, conservation, and joy. Together with community members, the design team shared ideas for several vacant parcels as potential sites to be converted to uses compatible with and complementary to the new Greenway. So where do we go from here? Now that we have plans and community feedback, we're able to move forward with the engineering and design of this new Greenway, and this work will continue in 2021 and 2022. Community engagement will continue to be a key to the development of this project, and we encourage you to keep an eye out for future feedback opportunities. One particular opportunity that the community should be on the lookout for is helping to choose a name for this new Greenway. While the Greenway will be constructed within the Hodamont tracks, we do not want to assume that the Hodamont Greenway will be or should be this Greenway's name. While the name Hodamont is recognizable and pays tribute to the streetcar history of the corridor, there are several reasons why this name might not be the preferred choice. These reasons include possible confusion of this east-west corridor with the north-south running Hodamont Avenue, and the fact that some portions of the track are known as the suburban tracks and not the Hodamont tracks. Another issue is that Emmanuel de Hodemont, who the tracks were named for, enslaved people in the 1800s to work on his farm. As with other portions of this project, the name of this greenway will be driven by the community. Stay tuned for more information and your opportunity to share your own thoughts and ideas. For more information about this project, go to greatriversgreenway.org slash Hodemont. While you're there, be sure to subscribe to email and text updates so you can stay in the loop about future developments and opportunities. Thank you for your time. We look forward to continuing our work with the community as we create this new Greenway.